These are all iPads, and it can be hard to pick which one you want. I'm gonna go over every iPad, showing you what each upgrade does, so you can decide if you want the cheaper iPad or get something more expensive, like the iPad Pro. All right, let's talk about the 9th Gen iPad. It's the cheapest iPad, but it's pretty outdated and I wouldn't recommend it. It still has a home button, a lightning connector, and the chip, which is like the brains of the iPad, is from the iPhone 11, which came out in 2019. It's important to think about that chip because, well, as technology grows, it requires more and more power and a chip from 2019 just won't do as good. Another big reason I would stay away from this iPad is it still charges using lightning. Now, before you say, my phone uses lightning and everything uses lightning, just hear me out. Apple's being forced to use USB-C on all their devices, so in five years, it'll be really hard to find a lightning connector and everything you have will just be USB-C. So if you actually want an iPad that's gonna last, you're gonna want an iPad that has USB-C. Let's talk about the 10th gen iPad, which is something I'd actually consider if I was looking for an iPad. It's the newest iPad Apple sells and it's pretty cheap. It's kind of weird because it's the newest iPad Apple sells, but it's got a four year old chip, the A14, but I think it'd be fine to watch movies on and things like that. It would still be a good iPad. If you use FaceTime a lot, the 10th gen iPad could be really good for you because they actually moved the camera from the side to the top of the iPad. Right now, any other iPad you FaceTime someone on, you have to look way at the camera and then you can't see them or you you look at them and then it looks like you're looking away from them. So they fixed that by moving the camera up top and now you just look straight at them and it looks like you're actually looking at them like you're FaceTiming from an iPhone. It is $120 more than the 9th gen iPad, but it's got USB-C, Wi-Fi 6, 5G support, and a better camera system. And all these things will just help the iPad last longer and you'll get a few more years out of this iPad. For someone that wants to watch movies or do something easy on their iPad, this iPad's perfect. But now let's talk about the iPad mini. I love my iPad mini, but it's not really for everyone. I mean, it's kind of just a big phone or a small iPad. I like it because it fits in my pocket and you can use your Apple Pencil, so it's kind of like a nice little notebook, but it's the most expensive notebook you'll ever buy. It's got a few cool things like USB-C, a camera in the back and the front, and it's got Touch ID. I think this would be perfect if you have kids because you can carry it around easily and then if you go on a long drive or something, your kids could watch a movie. All right, now let's talk about the iPad Air, which is probably the iPad I'd recommend to everyone. It's the best. It's got the M1 chip, so it's nice and fast, USB-C, and it can use the Pro accessories like the Magic Keyboard and the Apple Pencil, so why spend more money on the iPad Pro? I'd recommend the iPad to almost everyone because it's gonna last a long time. Although it's more expensive than the iPad 10 gen, it's really nice. But now let's talk about the iPad Pro. As of right now, this is the only iPad that comes in this huge 12.9 inch size and has a liquid Retina XDR display. This also has the M2 chip, which they're putting in all sorts of computers and people love how fast that is. So this iPad kicks butt. It also has two cameras, which shoot in ProRes, which is Apple's way of saying it's awesome. And it's got a Thunderbolt 4 port, so when you transfer data, it does it quick. So if you use your Apple Pencil a lot, you can actually hover over your iPad and it will show you where you're gonna draw to help you predict the future. If you just want an iPad for something like watching movies or something easy, get an iPad 10. But if you want an iPad that's gonna last a long time, get the iPad Air. If you want an iPad that's gonna kick butt, get the Pro and maybe get the 12.9 inch. It's pretty cool. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this helped and let me know in the comments what questions you have.